Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are on the southern border of the Arathi Highlands, guys. And it's time to meet up once again with our favorite orcish clairvoyant. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to word it. Uh, Gragno. You need something? Now, we are going Might to go ahead and use the power of the Bronze Dragonflight to return to old Arathi Highlands. And Gragno is currently hiding out, or not hiding out, but he's currently at Hammerfall, Old Hammerfall. So we're going to fly over the old terrain that is currently not in the middle of a war between the Alliance and the Horde. And get on with the storyline. It's kind of interesting that you can go back and forth between the old timeline and the new timeline. I just, I don't know. It kind of makes me wonder if wish that you could do that after, with the Cataclysm Zones. You could go back to old Ogrimmar or old any of the previous zones, but I guess that's what Vanilla is for. And also, old Hammerfall sucks compared to new Hammerfall. Okay, so if I was Gragno, where would I be? Wherever the alcohol is, of course. Dunk. Go ahead and read the letter that he sent me. <clears throat> Swindle gear. So I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the entrance to Arathi Basins is under control by Horde forces. The bad news is that this place doesn't even have a single ounce of booze. Apparently they're in an active war zone and booze could damage the soldier's mental state. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I already went ahead and did some of the investigating for you. Bring some booze from Okrima, will you? Oh, and save some for yourself, too. You've earned it. Grab them. Oh. I know you're there, Swindle. Come on in. Hey, checking some mail. How's it going? Nothing that major. Have a sit. And sitting. Yeah, let's go ahead and trade. Cup of frog, frog venom brew. Careful with that last one. It'll send you to the floor. You gave me some beer and some buckets filled with sewer water. Is this a Zandalari drink? No. say, nope. <laughs> it's technically not. It's an Ukan drink. Ugh, perfect. Anyway, I already did what I needed to do before you came here. Yeah, what'd you find, boss? It's kind of a weird thing. You've got, like, an old alliance, like, longhouse with horde, with horde uh, crates. You got a few masks. You got some tauren. And that's a little bit of everything, except for Sa Forsaken. Well, I learned that they were working alone. As alone as two demons with weird code names can get. Seriously, vitamin C? What kind of... I 
I'm all for preventing scurvy. But still. Oh, but that doesn't matter. I've discovered something truly important. I listen intently. Gragno holds up a small curved knife. This used to be Jerazorth's. But now it shars. Neat. What do we do with it? I mean, that's all good and well, but do you want me to stab him with it? Because I can. We just got to find him. They should really fix that hole. Well, I guess they do, technically, if we go to modern Arathi. Once we arrive at the, our next location, I will use the knife in performing a very old orcish ritual. Okay. Oh. It used to be very common, but now it's lost the time. Okay, do I have to pretend? Protect you against waves of things trying to kill you. Because that's normally how it goes. I was just kind of staring at me. Oh, thankfully, no. Yeah, that's a breath of fresh air. If I can type it all. Yeah, see, even Smee agrees. It requires taking the blade that used to belong to someone, killing ten animals with it, using the blood from the animals to create a special orcish rune. This will allow us to send the spirits to them, giving us a direct trail to them. And since we have the blade, that will be no problem. Yeah, I wonder how he lost it. Oh boy, I probably drank too much. Yeah. Hey, I got the cure for that. Uh, judging by the fell energy, he just dropped it. <laughs> You know what? I got the cure for that. A good meal. His code name shouldn't be Dead South. It should be Butterfingers. Going to the toys. Ah. Just like Mama Swindle used to make. Grogno looks grimly at the kettle. Uh, it, it's okay. I'm fine.
Eh, why not? Yeah, excuse me there. Oh, that's... that's not... Uh, excuse me too. That's the smell of good cooking. Why learn new recipes when you already got the best? Anyway, I already gathered all the info I need. Remind me, what's the next location on our list? The spear is giving me memory a run for its money. Yeah, Ashenvale, Rathy Highlands. Yeah, it looks like winter spring. Your breath is foul, poison. Perfect. We will perform the ritual there. But that's all I have to say. But before you go, get a little to pace yourself. Honestly, if you if you drink, yeah, it's one something you gotta learn is how to pace. Excuse me. I'm always waiting for someone to sneak up on me during these sessions. Before you arrived, I followed their trail a bit. And apparently they also head down directly south to this farmstead. <laughs> uh, go check or some such? That'll be the one filled with peons. If you could check that out, look for clues. That'd be great. Yeah, roughly, yes. Yeah, will do. Enjoy the goblin cooking. Ain't nothing like it. Well, I'll be here trying not to puke my guts out. <laughs> oh, I, I won't. Yeah, no, everyone's a critic. Well, let's go ahead and fly over to Goshek Farm then. Place filled with orcs. That's, that'll be relatively easy to find. Ah, yes indeed. Okie dokie, looks like all the peons are, hit, are hot at work here. Oh, they don't actually talk like peons. <laughs> Something you're doing? Be busy. Leave me alone. Me not that kind of orc. Okay, looking for clues here. Okay, nothing there in that pile. And got a bunch of peons just hanging out here. Got some apparently dead horses, I assume. Maybe cows. No, they ain't got the horns. Yeah, look like horses. Hmm. Hey, Smee, see if you can sniff something out for me, would you?
Eh. Oh. Sweet. Level 62 beast. Let's. Oh, look at that armored boar. That's cool. There's a lot more, I guess, complicated designs now. But that would be a cool thing for maybe a mag. Ooh, a Magar Beastmaster to tame. Or a just a Magar Hunter, excuse me. That'd be pretty slick. And we got ourselves another Bond here, another Hammerfall Peon. Ooh, we actually got a Grunt here. Seen a lot of bones and skeletons and such. But I ain't nothing new. Especially over here in the Eastern Kingdom, since this is kind of forsaken territory. Got some silos. Got some Alliance scum right up there. So this is like a quest zone for the Alliance. Check the facilities. The one in there. And we got Apothecary Jarrell here. Which I guess is a Speak quickly. A boss. Yeah, check the well. No scary little girls in there. Check the scarecrow. It's kind of tilted, but other than that. Hmm. And I see we need to wait for something. Let's go ahead and use some detection here. Just in case. I wonder. Let me look up at the Alliance scum real quick. Quay. Okay, that would have been fairly interesting. And are they. No? Yeah, I don't see nothing. I do kind of want to go up there and kill them, though. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And eh, haven't done this in a while. Oh, for half a million. And you. And you're saying something in the common tongue. I can't really hear you, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm wondering if... Uh, if Dereisty has something kind of planned for us here. So I will just kind of hang out for a little bit longer. Right up here on this hill. So I can be seen. And um, if anything happens, I will let you know. Yeah, just heard Gragno scream. Hey, dragon, there better be a good reason for this. Eh? Ooh, got another vision quest here. Hey, you try and walk straight with a belly full of whatever that stuff in the pond was. He 
think gonna go ahead and stay stealth just to make sure. Is this the place where it all went downhill? Eh. Looks like this is where something went downhill. I pondered the situation and listened intently. Ha! <laughs> Memories. <laughs> so the plot, it is uh, thickening, even more so than the gumbo. Yes, of course it made me drunk. It tasted like pure alcohol. Well, that doesn't matter. So Gragno's talking to a dragon, eh? Not a whole lot of them left. Swindlegear was supposed to come here roughly two years ago in order to be ambushed and killed. What do you mean he escaped? Ah, Gragno. He had such high hopes for you. Little goblin bastard. Hey! Maintaining composure. Yes, I've traveled back in time to befriend him. Think that he has a chance of shaving to Reisty. Not really realizing that. <laughs> what do you mean he realized? Well... What the fuck? What toy is that? Spectral visage or visage? Yes, the energy is pulling on the bottom. Why do you say that? Dun 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 dun. We have interacted with these spirits before, so... Yes, that will be a problem. The energy will be cleaned up. Remember, code names Vitamin C. Eh. What do you need? I need, I need some headache medicines, what I need there, peon. So, that definitely, that definitely can, uh, will complicate some things. So, I'm curious, it's in terms of how that's typed, whether... Like, remember code names, vitamin C, or remember code names, vitamin C. Like, whether he's reminding whoever he's talking to that he is vitamin C, or referring to the dragon as vitamin C. Hmm. And he's not online, so we can't go confront Gragno, and chances are Gragno is not there. So we'll have to wait for that um, in the snow of uh, winter grasp.
It's been a long time since I've been over in that direction. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and head back to Zandalar. And let's go ahead and turn off our PvP. And I'm not sure... I mean, we can go ahead and move on at least a little bit. We've got a little bit of time. Let's go talk to Nathanos. Oh, no, we got to meet... Oh, whoopsie. We got to meet uh, Valtra and Tiragard Sound. Hmm. I guess we can go ahead and do that. At least head that direction, you know. Actually, let's see anyone. It's hard. I'm I'm exalted with everyone, so doing the faction quest and even keep keeping on doing it for like the little um, supplies. Ooh, I have I'm so close to honor bound supplies though. Is honor bound? So that'll get me 200 rep with honor bound. How much do I need for the... Ah, curses. Eh. A little bit never hurt anyone. And we'll send Valtroy. I think it's Valtroy. Um, on a mission there. And let's, let's see exactly where she's based at at least. Get moving! We shall set sail and please don't crash game. If the game crashes, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Every time I see this map screen, I get nervous now. Alrighty. And Valtois is over here at Bridgeport. See, every time I read the the last her name, I'm gonna have to see how that's pronounced because I don't think I've ever heard it. Well, I probably have during Legion. I just don't remember it. I want to say Troy is because of Diana Troy from uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, but also Menage Toi. Language is funny. Oh, we got a nice little magic bubble. That brings. <laughs> speaking of Legion, and Rexar and them are waiting. Alright guys, well, I think I will go ahead and end the episode here. We'll see what Rexar and Valtois have in store for us. Probably nothing, well, actually probably something really fun. And I'll probably have to deal with Ridgeport as well. So we will go ahead and pick it up there in the next episode. And I will ponder what exactly happened here with Gragno. So let's go ahead real quick so I'll, since we have time. I'm going to read this in my normal voice. Hey, you try and walk straight with a belly full of whatever that stuff in the pond was. So I'm curious what the pond is. Is this the place where it all went downhill? Of course, it may be drunk. It tastes like pure alcohol. That doesn't matter. I assume he's referring to the pond. Swindle Gear was supposed to come here roughly two years ago in order to be ambushed and killed. So that's two years in the future. What do you mean he escaped? Yes, I've traveled back in time to befriend him. Think that he has a chance of sh saving Dereisty, not realizing that... What do you mean he realized? Well, the energy is pulling on the bottom. Why do you say that? Yes, that won't be a problem. The energy will be cleaned up. And remember, code names, vitamin C. That's the only thing that I'm having confuzzling, is whether he's calling the person vitamin C or he's referring to himself. Like, remember, code names, vitamin C. Ain't the hello there, stag. Got some friendly animals here, but I will go ahead and ponder that, guys. And we will see you for the next episode as we continue the war campaign. If you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.